right now so they can come to board the building up ASAP. Alright, so we're going to take you across the street now. Got them registered sex offenders. Nah, we right here. This good. Look at this, y'all. This is what we're dealing with right here. This is exactly what we're dealing with right here. We don't know who's in this property. Yeah, now right across. Here we are, right across the street, you guys. I'm going to zoom in at Benneker. The sign they got right there. Right here, you guys. Banneker Elementary School. We are literally right across the street, you guys, from here. Some of the cars. This is what we're dealing with right here. This is what we're dealing with right here. It's wide open. Wide open. You can see the windows. Wide open. Who knows what it looks like inside of that? That's what we're dealing with right there. This is crazy. Yeah. I didn't realize how bad it was. From, from you know, close to right. Yeah. Right. Now, now, Asia, once again, let's uh, tell our audience. Let me get on this side. Yeah. You got better luck. All right, you did what again? You I, already. Um, I attend my beat meeting. So I mentioned it at a beat meeting. I called 311 right. several times. And I did an online crime report. Uh -huh. And that's been like about a month now that we've called. And Had they even responded to you? No, we have not responded. We give them specific information about the school. I've even told them I saw kids in and out. The kids were inside this building already? In and out on one afternoon and that's made me call another time and they have not responded. Now Christine, you right on the next block here. What We know your block has had some trouble in the past. Tell us what's happened on 67 to Parnell. 67 to Parnell, we had some children. Young people been shot. So since these people been shot, the um, Neighborhood people have decided to make a monument. The monument is only supposed to be temporary. But our monument has turned into a grave. Uh, six feet long and four feet wide. How many bottles approximately? 200. Yeah. Wow. And yeah. of course, by we by standing by Banneker, I have made numerous reports about the bushes coming from under the Vada. Because the city of Chicago said they long and long cut bushes. Children was afraid to walk over on that side. And along with this building, you know, the kids are getting scared and scared. Now, really right. scared. now, now what, what's right on the other side of the Vidoc here? What happened to the young girl over there? Let's That's Ryan Harris, Ryan Harris Park. Well, this uh, area, when you just come across the Vidoc where the bushes are, is where her body was found. So what year was that? Oh, I think that was 2002, right? yeah. So 2000, and we still dealing with a situation where it, you know, it's a convenience for someone to be raped, drugged in here, raped and killed. Yeah, that's right. All these years later. That's right. All right, we don't want to put too many officials on blast, but uh, at the end of the day, would this be tolerated on the north side? Oh no! Come on, now, uh, real talk. To a grammar school? Uh, <laughs> no, not especially at all. you know, by the school they should at least post pictures of predators mm -hmm. but they won't they don't want to post any pictures they don't want it. the children here you know they don't care about our children they don't care about our kids every morning we drive this way we see kids walk past this building and and high school kids high, high school, school girls kids. yeah and, they and every day it upsets me that no one has done anything about it and i wonder why parents of Manigo or either right. parent patrol or the teacher the principal haven't did anything. I mean, I don't know how long it takes to get it boarded up. Right. You know, here in Inglewood, it usually takes a death. Uh, or some tragedy. Say, yeah, some tragedy. A lamb has to be sacrificed before anything happens. This is what happens in Inglewood. Right. This brings now, all the people out. Now, here's some good news or some hopeful news. When we was at Kennedy King, July 25th, and you had all them weeds and, and the place being unkept. We put that on YouTube and guess they what happened? What happened? Yeah, they, <laughs> cleaned they cleaned it up because we put that dirty laundry out there in the public. And uh, so that's what we're going to do here to, uh, tonight. We're going to put this on YouTube. It's documented. We got the time and date we out here. And uh, we just go put all the officials from Mayor Daly on down on notice 
that we've been here. We've seen this hazard that's sitting here wide open in our community. Well, what's that address? Five. 511. He called the city a long time ago. He just said he You did too? You called him too? Yeah, that's what we said. <laughs> Y'all hear that from people walking by. They see us out here. They, they already know what we're doing. Everybody can call. Yeah, so so it, that, that's what we're going to do, you guys. We're going to put this on YouTube, put them on blast. We're going to give them less than 30 days. And if, that, if nothing is happening, we're going to take it to the next level. And uh, that's just what we're going to do. Any any other closing arguments? Anything we gonna say? Anything else? You should walk around to the back and see how they have opened the back. What children can cut in the back as on, well as the front. On the side where the generator is, or the no, other side, side through the alley. Side through the alley. Yeah, it's the back yeah, side, and, right? And, and it's about a grammar school. That's right. Right. Yeah, right across the street from the grammar really school. Me. I mean, I'm on the block with some houses too, but it's not about a grammar. Yeah, easy access. Yeah, y'all. So this this the action we gonna take right here. I've right seen here. Kids walk past. This is the action we go take right here. Today.